Hello everyone and welcome to Man Manga Boys Man Manga Unboxing. We've got a few here. One of them is like kind of already open thanks to, um, I guess Right Stuff did a bad <laughs> job. UPS had to tape it back up. Um, you know that happens pretty frequently these days. It used to not happen since the Sony takeover, but like lately it's been happening more and more I feel like. I don't know why. Um, but hey, saves me the hassle of breaking down my box, I guess, right? there's that oh we got just uno buto here oh i lied two buto okay okay not made not made the breaker and so what i'm a spider <sighs> we're gonna open up this next one this comes right off Just like whatever the opposite of glue is. Beautiful. Oh, shit. So we have some more snowy with the red hair already. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Wow, two Mizukame works in one haul. What the heck? Goat haul right here. Goated. All right, so let me, uh, let me go unload these and we'll talk about them real quickly. One second. Okay, let's talk about some of these. I guess we'll start with the ones in, in focus. We've got So What I'm a Spider, The Daily Lives of the Kamoko Sisters, Volume 5. Uh, the Breaker, also Volume 5. World and Salute, Volume 2. Let's see the time loop again. Oh, well, that's interesting. Um, Sengoku Yoko, Volume 1 by Mizukame. Uh, Catch These Hands, Volume 4. I think this is the final volume. Yeah, uh, that won't stop. Comes to close in this heartwarming finale. So this one's the end. Snow White with the red hair, volume five. Uh, is it wrong to pick girls in the dungeon? Familia Chronicle Freya, volume one. Uh, Tatsuki Fujimoto before Chainsaw Man 22 to 26. I really like the first one, so I'm hopeful that this one is also good. Uh, Konosuba, God's Blessing of This Wonderful Earth, Volume 15. Check out the spin-off television anime show going on right now. Explosion, a wonderful world. Uh, Use a Curve Family, Volume 4. These are coming out super fast. I wonder if this is selling really well in America, um, but I like it actually. Um, Laid Back Camp, Volume 13, very relaxing manga. This one comes out very slowly. Undead Unluck, Volume 11, all black on the spine this time around, so probably some pretty interesting stuff happening in this volume. Uh, Meruko-chan, Volume 7, looks pretty creepy. <laughs> my favorite kind of Meruko-chan book. Uh, my Life, My Isekai Life, excuse me, uh, Volume 6. I feel like these come out fast, but then I realize it's only in Volume 6, I'm like, oh, maybe not that fast. <laughs> A sentence in a bookworm, I'll do anything to become a librarian. I'll even join the Temple to Read Books, Part 6. By J Novel Club, I love J Novel Club's works. Um, reincarnated in another world as a girl. Um, you can see here we got some nice string shot there. Adam, Volume 4, I should really start reading Astro Boy, it looks really cool these Adam volumes, <laughs> though I heard <laughs> Titan's not that great these days. Um, you know, the Haunted Hot Springs volume 23. Oh, Nana volume six. Nice to get some Shoujo Beat stuff in again. Uh, Sakamoto Days volume seven. Every Sakamoto Days cover is just in immensely sick. Uh, buying Sakamoto Days if for nothing else other than the fact that the covers are amazing. <laughs> Saga of Tanya the Evil, volume um, 19. It almost looks like the end because of how it looks there, but pretty cool. I should really start reading, uh, trying to focus on getting the rest of this series. I'm missing a bunch, but I've gotten them as they continue to come out. Another thing I should continue to do is try to read this because I've read all Fairy Tale before. This looks really cool. Uh, 100 Year Quest, volume 12. Uh, Persona Q, Side P4, Volumes 2 and 4. Uh, missing the missing the even, or the odds, only have the evens right here. Gonna make it difficult to read without one or three, I guess, but hey, that takes something. Uh, Persona P3, um, Persona Q P3, I should say, 1 and 2. I think that these are the only volumes that exist for Persona Q P3. I don't think they ever finished this one, which is a real shame. 
real account, the finale, uh, 21, 22. I am still missing just like pff, one omnibus. I think it's like uh, 11 or maybe 12 through 15, something like that. Uh, but I do have the rest of them, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. High School Debut, volume 13, 14, 15. I think I'm missing a few of these, but this is the final volume, which is great. Uh, the same creator as uh, My Love Story. Um, Red Hood, volume three. This is the final volume. I heard that this gets super meta and super great, so I'm very excited to read through it. And Usotoki Rhetoric, Rhetoric, volume two. I read the first one. Reminded me a lot of um, a show called Poker Face, where the girl can kind of tell if you're lying or not uh, and help solve murders. So let's kind of show these off a little bit here. So some of the artwork you can see in Usatoki Rhetoric, I feel like the backgrounds or maybe the objects are super beautiful um, that they draw. You can see like there's mirror, flower and things like that. So the artist goes out of their way to draw specific details. Other things like backgrounds are just blank. Uh, so you can tell that they have the ability to be good at art, but maybe aren't super good at it, drawing it consistently. Um, but definitely worth checking out this series. It's a fun little detective. Um, series so if you like detective manga check it out uh again the same author who did um my love story uh, these are kind of i feel like older so these are like thinner than newspaper you can kind of see through them uh because they're the same pages that viz uses for all their three in ones um which are typically great uh but they still get the job done definitely better than not having anything or was this printed anyways this is like super uh what's the word for it loose this is a USA printed book. Yeah, wow, I'm surprised. Uh, but yeah, that's great. Real account, I heard that this has a pretty lame ending, but this is a kind of like, um, what's the word for it? Like a murder mystery based on the internet. From what I understand, kind of some death games involved as well. So interested to read this series whenever I can get the last volume of it um, that I'm missing. Persona PQ, um, side uh, three. One and two, this series covers the Persona 3 side of Persona Q. I never played Persona Q, but I did play the other Persona games, uh, but I never beat three. I'm kind of banking on the remake because I, I really hate Tartarus so much. Tartarus really stinks uh, in Persona 3. <laughs> Anyways, I hope the remake can fix that. Uh, I, I guess I never finished this one, which is kind of too bad, but I would really like to, um, what's the word for it? play this game, but I don't really like this genre of, of game too much. It's one where you kind of go through a dungeon in first person um, and you have to uh, map your own map. I think there's an auto map feature in this game, but that's like not my kind of game to be honest with you. Um, Persona spinoffs are frequently go into these alternative like game genres. But yeah, that one I just, I can't tend to get into. I believe that you would read Persona Q uh, part four first because it, you know, is at least complete <laughs> when three isn't. And um, I, I have a feeling this got completed and, and three did it because it was coming out first, but who really knows. Uh, Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest. I actually hear really good things about this series. Um, for a spinoff especially, which is great. Uh, I, I actually like the end of Fairy Tale, so I'm hoping this kind of continues it over. You can see these cool dragons though, which are really, really neat. Uh, so yeah, excited to read that when I get to it. Uh, Saga of Tiny and the Evil, I really like this anime. I watched it all, I read the, I watched the movie, I watched Quartet. Um, so the manga most likely goes further than the um, anime ever did. Uh, there was angels and God involved when I last read, last watched it. Um, so yeah, I really was enjoying it all the way through. I just wish they kept making it. <laughs> Sakamoto Days, Volume 7. This series has been great. Follows a hitman who gets out of shape and tries to retire, but the hitman life kind of catches up to him. Uh, and he kind of has his own family. He straight up indiesels the shit out of his life. Um, and he has to protect them from his old life. Uh, he's constantly being attacked by other hitmen lately because he's got a high bounty on his head. Nana Volume 6, one of the few volumes I was missing of Nana um, that I ordered. I do not have them all ordered quite yet. I heard good things about Nana, and uh, especially around like a halfway mark, I guess it gets really dark and, and crazy. So I'm really excited to read it. Um, I guess it's pretty nice all the way up until that point. Um, but yeah, I don't know too much about it, and I heard that I should continue to not know much about it. So keep we're going to keep it that way. Um, Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs, Volume 23. Interesting um, picture here. Oh my god. Do you think they really need to show this? Like, come on. <laughs> She's in a... Why? 
Why? What? What? I broke my legs. I can no longer walk. Here's a picture of me naked. <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, leave it to you and the haunted hot springs. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Uh, I got a bunch of these from Singapore or Hong Kong, I think it was. This one's from Canada. There's only like one or two more left, so we're getting pretty close to the end, thankfully. Um, Adam, the beginning, volume four. This is a kind of like prequel to Astro Boy. So yeah, pretty excited to read this, but I want to read Astro Boy first since it did come first after all. But yes, um, Titan Comics hasn't had the best reputation lately, especially for their Kamen Rider Kuga series, having a very bad adaptation apparently. Um, but still, <laughs> I can't not get Kuga, just like I can't not get Adam. I mean, it's, it's a prequel to Astro Boy. I mean, where, why is Astro Boy being reprinted by the way? Um, this is screwed up by I was reincarnated as a girl in another world. This series has been pretty itchy, uh, but it is a lot of fun. Um, I do really like it. The main character seems to have some sort of like deity-esque um, attachment somehow but we don't really know what that is quite yet or at least as far as I am you can tell that she's a big foodie too uh, but yeah it's been a lot of fun from what I read it's, it's kind of lighthearted with some mystery elements involved um, I still haven't read this yet nor have I watched it but uh, these seem pretty thin books um, the artwork looks great though and I've heard great things about the story I mean it's on part two volume six i feel like it's actually further i must have been missing this volume uh because i haven't gotten a, a book in a long time so i thought it was a new one but maybe not wait oh <laughs> i was like this is this is the number one i thought this was sengoku yoku um, but this is red hood volume three again another final volume so we're finishing up a lot of series here um this series was canceled i heard that this volume gets really meta so i'm really excited to see what it means by that apparently the author knew that they were running out of pages um and like they kind of just hate on jump <laughs> for that whole volume so that's exciting my isekai life volume six we last found the cause of who was making the woods it was who making the town frozen and these people who were having these magic crystals in town so i'm probably going to see him our main character like find these people we'll see if that actually happens or not but this series has been kind of fun you know it's he's overpowered he's got all these slimes that teach him everything the slimes absorb he ends up learning and having uh so he's op in that regard it's been really cool to read through it and see how he figures things out while kind of staying hidden from people finding out that he's op which is really exciting uh you know it's not like oh high stakes or anything like that so far but you know we're kind of ramping up to things starting to matter meruko chan things have gotten pretty real in this series uh the main character mentors have kind of <laughs> i don't really know what to say but they've kind of um gotten in a huge fight we can see here that meiruko chan has some scary ass things to deal with can you imagine not acting afraid when that shit happens two feet away from your eyes holy shit and like look at all that so there's tons of action in meiruko chan despite the girl not having really any powers but her friend having all the powers but being oblivious to it um and her teacher's kind of doing a lot of the work but this series is, is really blood pressure blood pumping i don't know how to say it undead and luck volume 11 this series looks like we're wrapping up the season's arc uh this has been a really good um arc it really brought back all my love for the series which i did not have i was slowly gathering it and then it started the season's arc and i was like oh shit this series is great so i'm really glad it got to that point because otherwise if it ended at volume four i probably would have said like yeah it's okay you know it's good but not great the first two volumes i really were just like mad about but then ever since then it's gotten better and better late bad camp volume 13 there's really not too much to say about it if you guys like camping or looking at pretty pictures and relaxing imagery <laughs> this is for you a lot of this manga is just kind of slice of life relaxing seeing uh, people's kind of uh, relationships with each other so i really do recommend it if you guys like nature or just kind of chilling vibing you know that's the kind of manga that is yozakura family volume four is not that kind of manga it's all about high stress situations for our main character here and how he has to protect his new wife it uh, looks like we've get introduced to a few more villains here which is really exciting you can see that they do not look to be of this world but maybe they are there's a lot of sciencey things involved it reminds me a lot of um history's strongest disciple kenichi uh, but it is still kind of you know its own manga in its own right as well 
uh, kind of like Reborn mixed with that as well. So definitely recommend checking out if you like any of those series that I listed. But otherwise, if you read those and you're like, that's trash, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. But I do know what to say about this manga, and it's that it's hilarious. If you like juvenile silly humor, that looks like it's either Shovel Knight or Boba Fett right there. Uh, so that's hilarious. Tons of text of comedy. Sometimes no text of comedy. Sometimes... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so this series is pretty comedic. Pretty much the main character gets killed. And the goddess is like, um, you know, you can go back, but you can bring one thing. Just let me know what it is. He's going through all these different things. And then he's like, you know, what? screw this. The goddess is like constantly making fun of just trying to go through this whole thing. He's like, I'm going to pick you, goddess. And then he picks the goddess and they have to go live in this world together. And she loses like most of her power. So she can't like just one shot the demon lord or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's very funny. And the main character is kind of a scumbag and everybody else is kind of an idiot. Uh, in their own regards, or a horrible person for their own reasons, which is great. Tatsumuki, Tatsuki Fujimoto before Chainsaw Man 22 to 26. Uh, the last series of this was very good, so I'm expecting this to be again pretty good. Uh, the series were always kind of like surprising and had some wild imagery. Looks like we have a power um, <laughs> prototype here, Bruce Lee over there in the corner. So it should be some interesting one shots without a doubt. Pretty excited to read through it. This is the last of his one shots. Um, you know, in the grouping that I know that are coming out, I think the next one otherwise is Goodbye, Aerie. Uh, reincarnated. Bleh. I'm so used to these like, guys. Is it wrong to pick up Girls in a Dungeon Family Chronicle episode Freya? So this follows a group of people in, in Freya's clan. Um, you can see kind of what we're dealing with here. Not too much of a focus on Belle and. Um, Hestia, but you know, still a lot of fun and then a lot of other characters that you can recognize. This series, uh, Episode Family Cr Chronicle, blah, 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 helps kind of flesh out the world and other characters um, that have lived in it. So always good to recommend this to people who are interested in the series. Snow White and the Red Hair, I don't really know a lot about, but again, I just kind of wanted to get a series in a mystical world. I got this in the Shoujo Beat sale. I was really hoping to get more uh, volumes of, of a few of these Shoujo Beat manga in the Viz Media publisher sale, but Viz did not include Shoujo Beat in that sale, which I think is the first time they've ever you know done it that way. So I was really shocked to see that, but I can kind of understand it. Viz has a lot of titles, and so to have them all go on sale at once is probably too much. But to be honest, with the Viz publisher sale just regular, I did already spend too much, so there's that too. <laughs> Catch these hands line for another finale. Um, this series, I read the first like volume or two and it was just very okay. I didn't really see the appeal to it too much. I don't think I'm the target audience, uh, honestly. Um, but you know, essentially the main character is kind of um, forced into a relationship with this girl because she loses a fight against her. She's been her rival since school. And she's kind of losing her way because everybody in school has moved on and kind of grown up. And she's still trying to be like this tough guy run a gang but she can't because well nobody cares you know they're all graduated they're moving on they're having kids and, and starting families uh, except her and this is kind of her journey as she kind of matures through that um yeah it's, it's been just okay i only kept it up i guess because there was only four volumes i think i read two so far so i'm missing the last two uh it's yeah meh sengoku yoko uh <laughs> one of tokyo pop's newer um releases here which is exciting <laughs> To have Tokyo Pop back, they, uh, in my opinion, published some of the worst manga that I own, but some of the most nostalgic manga that I own. So, I mean, there's that at least. <laughs> uh, we can see that they have their their little logos back as well. Uh, but this is a big, big get in my opinion because this is uh, Satoshi Mizukami, the same author who wrote Planet With, um, World End Solte. Uh, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, Spirit Circle, a few more that I'm sure are missing, uh, but an author that I really enjoy quite a lot. Uh, you can see, I don't know anything about this series, I really just bought it based on the author alone, but we can see some very good artwork, as always, with Mizukame. He has that kind of distinct style to it, especially if you watch any of his animes, you can really kind of point them out pretty quickly. Uh, big fan of his series, they always have like these very wild twists that you wouldn't expect. They kind of present themselves like a sinner shonen or seinen and then they kind of go a different way. Uh, so I really appreciate the series for that reason. Almost always the first few volumes are kind of like, um, I won't say misnomers, but misdirectors, I guess. So they kind of point you in one way and then the whole series will kind of take a different turn, typically after a point. Uh, World End Solte, 
This series has been okay so far. Again, we are only just getting into the world. So I am kind of interested to see where this whole world goes. He did a lot of world building of in the first volume, probably more than he's ever done. Usually he has the worlds built in a somewhat grounded universe, but this is very magical and uh, not, not realistic world. So it's a pretty big twist on what he normally does, which is very interesting. Uh, the Breaker Volume 5. The Breaker is, of course, very good. It has a ton of action and fighting in it. If you like it, you should check it out. It's probably the next best thing to Baki or Kenganatra that we are going to get in terms of fighting manga in English. Um, so check that out, or even Sunken Rock. I heard good things about that. I haven't read that one actually yet myself. Um, but yeah, if you like Kung Fu action, you should check out this series. It is a lot of fun, and um, it's quite long, so I think we're going to be sticking with it for a while. This I have not read either, but I've heard that this is a very good series, and I think this is just kind of like a gag spinoff uh, following these three sisters who are also from our school, maybe? I'm not really sure if they are or not, but I'm assuming they are, and they look to be also spiders. Uh, so yeah, this will be an interesting read, I suppose. It's still going on five volumes, so for a spinoff it must be pretty decent since spinoffs don't usually go on that long if they're not good. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much comedic from what I understand. That is it though. That is a long, whew, a long video about just these series. So uh, I hope you guys found these interesting. Maybe you found something interesting to buy. If you did, please use my affiliate link down below. If you didn't, please use my affiliate link down below and buy something better than, I don't know. Whatever you kids do, you keep doing it. Please uh, leave a comment down below though if you did, uh, find anything here that was very interesting to you or something that might interest me. Who knows? You know, I don't have it all. I, I don't might seem like it sometimes, but I don't. I don't. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.